Right, so in this video we're going to have a look at um, this eBay wastegate I purchased and just why it's not a particularly great piece of kit. Right, so what you can see there is the wastegate itself. I've partially dis dismantled it so you can see the, the screws are out there. And um, this is what it comes with. Three springs, obviously one of them were fitted and then various fittings um some v-band clamps another bits uh valve seat for the blow uh wastegate itself so the reason why i don't think this is particularly good well firstly is when i got it i've dismantled it now this wasn't square on the um housing so it didn't really or well, the valve was seized i couldn't actually push it in so with the top removed i could also see that um just there if i can get it to focus just there that part of the valve um was damaged it being pinched which obviously means that uh to start with it's not particularly great and then once i got to that point um i could then undo these tiny little allen screws which uh i'm not going to lie they're a bit difficult to get access to but i managed to get them undone and then you can pull this off which is your diaphragm which um is okay but it's not the uh best piece of material i'm not sure how long it'll last so with the diaphragm removed we can see the top of the blow off uh, the wastegate with the screw so i've readjusted this to um get it to sit flatter still not perfect um and i'm not going to use this valve i'm actually going to ask for a refund just because there's so many things wrong with it also i don't know if you can see down there that bit of blue metal was from inside here that fell off um if we look inside the valve you might be able to see um, just where the valve goes into the housing on the left there's a big chunk of aluminium swarf or steel swarf whatever it's manufactured out of which is not good and um, the valve even though I've basically dismantled it it's not easy to push it's like it's like it feels gravelly almost that sounds weird it's it's not good it's poor the workmanship's poor the price to be honest as well weren't that cheap i mean about roughly a third or maybe over a third the price of a genuine turbo smart item um and obviously turbo smart is what i'm going to opt for so just to give you a bit of background for this the only reason i wanted this valve is i currently have my honda s2000 which is supercharged with a factory exhaust so it's very quiet which is good that's how i like it but i want a bit more noise when it comes on boost so the idea is i will weld this on like that onto the side of the exhaust pipe and then at 7 psi roughly when the springs allow the valve to open it will push the valve open and i'll get some exhaust gas being dumped out straight to air so what basically will be unsilenced so it's a bit like a screamer pipe but obviously on the supercharger how well it's going to or how good it's going to sound i don't know but we'll have to wait and see so that was the plan i was never going to use it as a wastegate for um, a turbo application but looking at the materials on this is made of it's not going to last long on a next to a turbo that's getting to like six seven hundred degrees um this for a start is probably going to foul it's probably a cheap material it's not water cooled not as far as i can see i mean there is some weird holes on here but with with the way the chinese machining is i don't know if that's a cock up with the when they're machining it or whether it's supposed to be there I'd, you probably ask the people who built it they wouldn't bloody know i mean just look at that look at the the poor machining on that bit look at all the um metal that's left over from where that hole's been drilled it's rubbish the other fittings everything that comes with it they look all right they're not a problem 
Probably cheap metal. You'd probably find it if you yanked on it too hard, you'd shear it. The springs, obviously it's a spring. I think it does list that it's stainless and clearly and not stainless. So that's a bit of a exaggeration. So yeah, I just thought I'd done this video because I've done one previously on fake um, sort of tile style blow off valves, which is a, works under a very different set of circumstances, i.e. not extreme heat. Obviously you have the heat of the intake charge, but you don't have heat of exhaust running through it. So these uh, these waste gates, I mean, that actually looks like the same diaphragm as what would be fitted on the um, the blow-off valve. And obviously they're two very different applications. One's gonna be getting ridiculously hot, the other one shouldn't be getting too hot. Okay, and clearly, you should not be using this. You should not be using one of these waste gates on your car. Um, boost control is very important. And if this is to foul and doesn't open, which mine wouldn't have done because it was clearly seized when I got it, uh, then obviously you'll over boost and you've obviously damaged the turbo or blow the engine up. I paid roughly £90 for this, I think it was. I will be contacting the seller. And just saying, look, I've had the valve apart. There's swarf on it. There's um, the valve was seized. And I, really, I want my money back. I, I'm not planning on using this. I'll have to send it back. So make sure you buy a decent wastegate. With blower valves, you can get away with something a bit cheaper. With these, definitely not. You want to spend your money wisely. Well, I've just ordered a Turbo Smart 44 or 45 millimeter version. Um, and that's what I'll be fitting. It costs a lot, lot more money, but at least I know I can fit it and the job's done. I haven't got to worry about it. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe for more.